Good morning, fellow travelers. Just Jeremiah here in Taos, New Mexico, on top of some big peak, or about to be. It's the highest peak in this part. Uh, yeah, the whole rainbow thing is like whew, way down there. I'm hiking up for cell phone service. My buddy Chad's coming, and I haven't talked to him like all week. He probably, probably thinks I'm bailed and I'm a shitty friend, but uh, I can all the way up for service. I still don't have it. I'm seriously going up all the way to the top in this steep hill off trail, and uh, it's a great day. It's the last day of rainbow. I'm headed down to Taos. Unfortunately, the videos are going to end here for now, but I think I am now... Rainbow fan for life. Uh, I'm going to have to keep going. I've got Shasta, Rainbow, Hot Springs, Slab City, and now who knows what else I'll find. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Let's see where this goes. Probably can't see him, but I've got a little friend over here. It's a ground squirrel. He's just standing up, perfectly straight, meditating. Let's see if we can check him out. Hey buddy, no you're fine. Made it to the top. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Just kidding. so stupid man it's so nice up here i want to see the other side of the mountain but like it's all trees it's either deer poop or bighorn sheep poop i'm surprised i haven't seen any bighorn sheep up here maybe i've been too busy looking at my feet breathing heavy while hiking up to like 11,500 feet off trail oh my gosh the beauty Yeah, I can see the other side. Man, we should be camping up here. No way up here, but this is nice. No, I think that, that one's the big one. The other one was deer. All right. Time to see if I get that service. Wow, oh, and then there's this. That's a real cairn. I've never seen one that big. I kind of felt like some similarities between where the ceremony is held on Mount Shasta and where it's held here in Taos. Uh, in Shasta, it sits at what's called the Old Ski Bowl. Here in Taos, it's down inside this. Uh, kind of sounds stupid and I'm sure I'm just coming up with something from nothing but this is a giant acoustic bowl and from what I've been told the, the way acoustics flow actually changed the way that uh, spell forms and intent can flow which is why they focus so much on those crazy acoustics in gothic cathedrals so I kind of feel like it might be something where, you know, the Rainbow and Shastafarians believe that, yeah, their spell form or, or their power of intent is enhanced here. But, uh, yeah, I thought I'd share that kind of weird stuff. You might like it, you might hate it. About to hike over to some guy yelling. We're yelling, I love you back and forth. I, we, we love you. Actually, I'll do it once. Let's see if it resonates. The wind's going to steal it away. There's a system coming. i got to make it down quick. I love you! Oh, I love you.
love you more. Here we go. I got a friend. I bet this is gonna be how I get my cell phone service. Let me walk up. See if he likes uh we got a big hug. I might even know this guy. Are you camera shy? Doing a YouTube thing and it's kind of a cool fun thing to meet someone up top. Yo. Hell yeah. Chance, hell yeah, Chance. Wait, can I get a big hug? Hell yeah. This is beautiful. It is. Did you see this rock? There's a big rock can over here. I'm getting ready to be, I'm thinking I'm going all the way around right now. Oh man, that sounds fun. Of going back to where I came. Yeah, yeah. Hey, off chance, you don't have like a cell phone, do you? I came up to get service to get my uh, straight talk card going, and uh, it just keeps saying pending. So, my buddy drove the whole way across the country, and I haven't talked to him all week. I gotta hitchhike to Taos just to let him know that I'm all right. Yeah. I got my dabs down in the tent, but. And I went, I went straight up this hill here. It actually wasn't that bad. Straight up? I went, from the path, I went straight up. I didn't even know it was Dude, I... Yeah, yeah. That corruption? Yeah, yeah. I went straight up. Last year, I did, uh... Like, the trail was closed, so I did, like... The 2,000 feet down, back up. Yeah, back up. There's a little bit of cut from wind up here. And this cairn is badass. Cool. Well, if you're ever in Taos, New Mexico, you come to the Rainbow, definitely go and get all that awesome food. Definitely contribute. Definitely share and, and receive. But don't forget to hike up the mountain. Come on. There's a reason we're up in these beautiful places. Don't just sit there and camp. Get your ass out here. Get the true spiritual experience because some of that involves a little bit of physical exertion. Thanks, guys. And... I made it to Sarah Vista. Not only do I know the name, but I made it thanks to my friend Chance, who I met by screaming I love you at the top of my lungs on top of a hill on a mountain. So I met Chance before, but getting to share something we're both passionate about randomly and spontaneously is a much more bonding experience. So I'm glad to have met a new friend and hope to stay in touch. And we thought, that was the highest point, but it was an optical illusion. They've got it marked up there with a stick and a rock. 11,939 feet. Wow. Has anyone hiked that high? My highest was like 13,100 up at Mount Ida. My biggest one is you. Yeah, my big... Yeah, me too. I've done 11,000 Mount San Jacinto out of Palm Springs this year. But... Bishop Pass, wow. Wow. Me too, I love Mammoth Lakes. Lots of hot springs. It's hard to get me out of Wild Willies. Which is the name of a hot spring, guys? Yeah, I like to get up into the mountains. It looks like the potential for a system coming in, so luckily we're headed back. Is it weed? We are one. It's like some rainbow arc. Peace pole. They kept making the peace pole. People kept taking it down. No one's taking this piece of peace pole down. Ha ha ha. This is safe. Peace pole. We hiked from that mountain over there, and then from all the way down below uh, before that. Maybe five miles. This guy's a beast. I like hiking with people that I have to, like, keep up with. Oh, I'm just pushing myself. Good, good. I was trying to keep up with you. Oh, good. Because I'm always the guy where I'm like, oh, crap, am I going too fast? And it's nice having someone, like, yeah, pushing me, and that's good. I like that. 
I feel like that's what I like out of uh yeah, friends, travel companions, all that. Someone who we can like push each other and help each other grow. Oh yeah. It'll be cool seeing it from the, from this perspective. Except I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy struck by lightning you mentioned. Yeah. I was up at uh, top of Twin Peaks outside of Estes Park, Colorado. Yeah. I, I, I know where that is. It's eleven thousand from right. Yeah. And, uh, lightning storm started coming and everybody's hair started standing up. Oh my gosh. You can stick your finger in the air and you can hear the electricity crackling. Up. Oh my gosh. We thought it was really cool for like ten minutes. Then we thought it was really bad. Yeah. When I did the hike up to Mount Ida two years ago, 13,000 feet, I, uh, there's a hailstorm, a thunderstorm, and it's like lightning's crashing around us. We're above tree line for three more miles. We had to hike down through it. That was scary. Here's the entrance to the underground military base. Just kidding. Secure deployable radio site. What is this weird thing? I think they're sending, they're sending radio frequencies down to the rainbow to disrupt it, dude. <laughs> oh, I got it. Yeah. Honestly, because there's Tau Solar has a Tau Solar radio. There's an old piece of tower. Yeah. When they took the old one out. And it's got a sticker for helicopter delivery on the side of it, too. But the helicopter is out of Riggin, Idaho. Really? Yeah. I'm going to walk this way a little bit. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, they're not going to bring it up on a truck. So I've been sleeping funny all week. Uh, my tent's at an angle, but then it slants like that, so I'm like bent backwards, and it feels so weird being on flat ground for the first time in a week. I've literally been on a hill. Then one day when I was pretty far out there, in a good way, I was like, there's nowhere flat. Fucked with my psych. Uh, but yeah, I think it's messing with my nerves. I think I have a pinched nerve because I can't like, the tips of my fingertips are numb through my left hand it's got me a little nervous you know I'm getting older don't want to think like oh did I have a stroke or did I like have a heart attack and not know it I don't think I did I would have known although fuck that other day danced for seven hours and used the shovel for like five probably came damn close that day I could feel my heart about to beat out of its chest promise to take it easy not trying to scare you but I want to like sleep flat and like get back to the internet and look up uh, reflexology as far as uh, the left hand goes, what I could do. You know, I could always use it to give myself a stranger, but uh, that's super inappropriate. <laughs> In case you don't know what a stranger is, just Google what giving yourself a stranger is. And if I was a numb hand, you could probably figure it out. Yeah, we gotta go right, left, right, down. Yeah. Alright, that's enough for now. We'll see if some action comes. I got like... Hey there, just Jeremiah, packing up, I'm about to leave after a week with the rainbow. Here's my campsite, and that of 
the awesome friends I made. Notice how no trash is left. Now there's indentations for my butt. Here's a piece of avocado. Even that, that would go in the, in the compost. You know, you might think orange peels, all that stuff is just fine out here, but the microbiome isn't prepared, especially at this height, this elevation of uh, 10,300 feet. So check your campsite thoroughly when you're done and be a good example for the younger crowd because a big part of being with the rainbow community is uh, spreading your example among the family. I know I had a blast doing that. I'm about to hitchhike to Taos to meet my buddy. That's gonna be an adventure, that's fun. Just wanted to say some things about, yeah, cleaning up after you camp and I'm like exhausted. This week's been rough up here. Uh, I've been fully exerting myself like nonstop. I wouldn't be surprised if I lost up to 20 pounds, 15 pounds. Uh, at least a fat, who knows if I gained it back in muscle. Uh, that's about it. I'm going to come up on the sacred circle. You know the drill with that. So, lights out. See you down the hill. So, on this last day of the rainbow gathering, you can see that there's hardly any cars compared to what there were. And uh, the group is gathering. The people left over that really care that, it, that are going to clean this place up better than it looked before. Uh, they're doing their vision ceremony. Hello. Fun dancing with you last night. Yeah, Have a nice evening. Er, a nice day. Take care. You know we'll see each other soon. Bye. Bless you too. See you soon. Loving, loving you both. Uh, forget what I was saying. People are leaving. Vision, ceremony, whatever. So basically everyone stands up and like gets to say what they see as their vision for the rainbow. That's pretty cool. They call council often. Especially through conflict. There are lots of co conflicts this year. Uh, a lot of it actually goes down to uh, conflicts due to, guess what, COVID, you know. They weren't going to do it. I don't think they did it last year. Then this year they split like three different directions. Allegheny National Forest, Idaho, and here in New Mexico. So like the leadership wasn't combined. And that kind of led to a lot of the structural difficulties we've had with uh, setting things up here. Uh, but yeah, there were like even conflicts within conflicts where there were people who were, uh, there were like three councils at a time when there should only be one council. They couldn't even agree on having the same council and where that was. We steamed it all out. It was beautiful. When, last night was so incredible. I mean, the one point, the one gentleman who has been struggling and that, you know, was kind of the center of a lot of the conflict. He, uh, he rolled me a joint, called me by name and handed it to me and, when I was making a s'more, I handed it to him, and uh, he was just really friendly last night, and it felt so nice to be a part of. I mean, honestly, normally they would out that guy, but I think it's kind of cool that we kept him around. Even though he brought the vibe down, it's not his fault because he's ill. He could seek more help, you know, and he's not, so he does have some blame for sure. But I'm still kind of somehow glad that he stayed and got to have that one last night, and we all got to see the person that he actually is. So I think that was a blessing. I gotta find a way to like shove a needle thing into my phone and get my memory card out and swap it because I got like so little memory left, but I'll keep deleting videos for my past stuff if need be. It's already loaded and for now I gotta go. Check out this beauty. I made it up higher than that peak today walking way up to this one and now I'm hiking all the way down this is that line you might have seen when I pointed out above and yeah I'll save 30 seconds in case a bear runs out loving you seconds I got a ride check it out good stuff down to Taos in a fucking awesome bus I can't wait